Welcome to this uh, video debate at Optics Rate. Uh, my name is Theodor. My name is Masha. And Masha, today we're going to talk about uh, a very common question that we receive on our emails and we also see that on Google a lot of people are asking this. So which binoculars are made in Austria? Yeah. I would propose that we go one step, I would say further, and describe a little bit what are the common business models in, in this industry of sport optics. Yeah, so we have basically four different types. We have the first one when the manufacturer is producing everything in the uh, country they are uh, based, in, based. Yeah. Uh, so in-house. Uh, then we have the second one where manufacturer is based in one country, so Austria, and uh, their production is located uh, in other parts of the world, mm -hmm. mostly Asia. Uh, then we have the company which is located in one um, country and then outsources some of their production to... Uh, some of the production is done at yeah, their facilities as yeah. a, a partial, outsourced partial in-house. Yeah, and then OEM producers. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is common. OEM are those producers which don't have their own brand, but they just produce for other brands. For other brands, yeah. In Austria, we basically only have two brands. Yeah. And luckily, they have two different business models. Yeah. <laughs> so let's start with Kales. Yeah, so Kales outsources their production of binoculars to Asia. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. They did some production in the past in Austria, but... Uh, A lot, yeah. In, the, they, yeah. In, in, in decades, they were producing binoculars all from the start, um, but recently they, they, yeah. they outsourced the production of their uh, normal binoculars to Japan and their range-finding binoculars to, to China. China. Yeah. Um, while their rifle scope production is all in-house in, in mm -hmm. Austria. So they do everything in, in terms of rifle scopes uh, locally in their facilities. Yeah. Then and we that, have the big uh, yeah. brand in Austria, which is Swarovski. Swarovski Optic is basically also the biggest in premium segment in the world. Yeah. yeah. They and do everything in-house, yeah. right? Everything from grinding of glass to uh, uh, production of all mechanical parts and everything. So they're fully, when you buy any Swarovski binoculars of any type, of any size and so on, it's always made in Austria, made in Abzam, in Tirol, in their factory. So they're one of the few, if not the only producer in the top premium class that does yeah. everything in-house. Because mostly uh, producers outsource their production to Asia in the more affordable models, yeah. like Kales. Yeah, um, yeah because honestly speaking, if you want to produce a binocular for, let's say, uh, 400 euros, 500 euros, it's impossible yeah. to do it in, 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 in Europe. Yeah. This is also the reason why the most affordable binoculars from Swarovski are already above 1,000 euros, yeah. because they all produce in Austria. And with Kales, when you have more affordable binoculars, normally they are produced outside of Europe. Yeah. Okay. That's basically it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.